Well, Dr. Ben Carson burst onto the political scene after rousing the crowd at this year's National Prayer Breakfast and last week at CPAC, and he gave no signs of slowing down. If we continue to spin ourselves into oblivion, we are going to destroy our nation. There, you know, if I were trying to destroy this nation, if you just, let's say you magically put me, you know, into the White House. And so why is he all of a sudden making waves and why did they cheer? Joining us right now is world-renowned pediatric neurosurgeon, Dr. Benjamin Carson. He's also the best-selling author of the book called America the Beautiful. Uh, Dr. Carson, welcome back. Thank you. Dr. Carson, can I just say I watch your speech and then I watch the way all the networks handle it. No one can really understand where you came from and why you seem so comfortable behind the microphone in the spotlight. Were you made, have you pre-thought this moment in your life, and your career? Uh, no, I haven't, but, uh, you know, my philosophy is always tell the truth. And you don't have an agenda. Just be yourself and be natural. And, and then you don't have to, to, to pose like you're doing something different. Well, you're talking about how politicians pose. I know, I know what you're up to. Of course, you burst onto the scene at the National Prayer Breakfast where you had some rather sharp words for the president, and then you were at CPAC this past weekend. Rush Limbaugh, I don't know if you're familiar with this, said that right now, Dr. Carson, you've got Democrats terrified. Here's a little of Rush. I think Dr. Benjamin Carson it probably got everybody in the Democrat Party scared to death. It's going to be really hard to demonize this guy. Really, really hard, partially because of his race, but not just because he's African American. It's because you can call this guy all kinds of demonic names. He just doesn't fit the bill. Well, Dr. Carson, is Rush right? Well, uh, I, I certainly hope so. Uh, you know, I've tried to lead uh, the right kind of life, uh, a life that is uh, inspired by you know, my love of God and my love of my fellow man. And, uh, you know, it's, it is very difficult to demonize someone under those circumstances. But, you know, I don't think it's just Democrats. You know, Republicans have been involved, too, in, in, in deceit and in trying to uh, rule by fear. And I think any politician who is doing that, I'm very happy to expose them. Uh, and uh, more importantly, I think we need to offer solutions for the problems, not just complain. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Carson, uh, Rush Limbaugh also went on to say something else about you. He said, Dr. Carson is able to articulate and explain conservatism in a way that is persuasive without raising his voice at all. Do you ever raise your voice? Well, you know, that probably comes from my training as a neurosurgeon. Yeah. Uh, neurosurgeons tend to be very calm under fire. They have to be because <laughs> you deal with some pretty stressful situations. Uh, Dr. Carson, uh, when will you decide if you're going to get into the political fray? As you mentioned, it's not brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that uh, is at the top of my agenda. You know, my, my agenda is to encourage discussion, encourage openness, and hopefully get to a point where we stop getting into corners and firing mm -hmm. at each other and acting like third graders. Uh, you know, if, if God has other plans for me, uh, he, he certainly will manifest those, but I don't expect that to happen anytime in the near future. It's a long time before the next election. It is a long time before the next election, but I think you're going to be retiring one of these days, and so it is curious. Why are you coming out and speaking so loudly right now? Uh, because I was invited. <laughs> it, it, was, it was not part of my master plan, uh, but quite coincidentally, uh, toward the end of my career, you know, I'm asked to, uh, to give this talk. The platform was there, um, and that's what happened. It's Did sometimes uh, things happen that you don't control. Have, have you, have, has a political strategist spoken to you, somebody that you might want to work with? Uh, I've had so many people speaking to me, it's unbelievable. <laughs> but, 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 the, <laughs> but the ones that I really appreciate actually are, are fellow Americans who are sending me all kinds of great ideals about how things should be done. You know, I, if, if our politicians were, were really smart, they would create a forum whereby they could really listen to, to some of these people. They're very, very smart, but they don't want to get into the political fray themselves because they know how brutal it is. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Dr. Ben Carson, always great to talk to you. Uh, we're counting down the days to your retirement, as we know you are. It's about 130 <laughs> now. So, uh, yeah. thanks. How about 102? Oh, 102. Yeah. Got it. I'll change the calendar. Uh, thanks so much for being on. Thank you very much. He is coming out and speaking a lot, but it's always quietly. Yes. Indeed. <laughs>